guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day. Vlogmas Day 6. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Um, so let's get into the video. Let's go ahead and get into the O. So it's just like um a couple paragraphs long. This one is really long because it's really detailed. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Let me stop talking. Sorry. See, this is why I can only do one story because I talk so much. Okay, anyway, it says, Am I the butthole for catfishing my underage sister on Tinder and, humili and, and humiliating? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Humiliating her in order to teach her a lesson. Ooh, y'all. Most people said that he was the A, the um butthole. Mm, dang, I was kind of on his side a little bit and from the West Bank. Because she shouldn't have been on that. But let's read it. So it says, last week I was using my sister. My, not him using her name. People, Y'all, usually people do not use each other's name on here. She, He said, he said her sister. He said his sister's name. Anyway, I'll start. Last week I was using my sister. I was using my sister Ashley's phone because mine was dead. And I needed to call my friend to confirm plans. Dialing my friend's number, I saw in Tinder notifications Oh, some dude messaging her. Messaging her. Immediately, I asked why she was on it. I, on it, Tinder. Um, she and he put in parentheses. She's seventeen, and she grabbed the phone back and said, "None of your business." I decided that I wanted to have a little fun with this. I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. And in parentheses, maybe she's just swiping for fun. So I didn't go straight to writing her out to our parents to test if she was just using it for fun. I decided to go make a Tinder profile. Oh, someone else and message her and see if she responds. I asked a good friend back from college who happens to be a male model, Kevin, if you mind if I use his photos and explain the situation. He thought be, he thought it would be hilarious and told me to go for it. Um, it don't matter if she is doing fun. In my opinion, I thought this is kind of weird. Like, girl, you only got one more year. You can't wait one more year. Anyway, um, he goes on to say, I created the account, set my age to twenty two. 22. Yeah, she's 17, 22. And oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading it. Okay, it says, I created my account, set my age 22, set my flight radius to a mile, and quickly found my sister's account. Her age was set at 19. In parentheses, lie. She's still in high school. So I was definitely more suspicious of her now. I super liked in less than an hour, she matched and messaged me. Excuse me. He put and in all caps. Then it goes on to say, I decided to set up a date to a fancy restaurant downtown Sunday afternoon and tell her we could head to my place afterwards. She was completely re I'm not going out. She was completely receptive and said she meet me there. She told our parents she was hanging out with one of her track friends spending the night at her place. Um after she left, I told our parents every after she left, I told our parents everything and she and showed them all the messages. They were peed off and I suggested we all go to the restaurant. My dad and I went um just went instead and saw her sitting at a table alone all dolled up waiting for Jim. That's what he said. No princess. My dad went up to her and asked Oh my dad went up to her and said Jim is not coming <laughs> She screaming ass what are we doing there? I told her that there was no gym and it was so effing stupid of her to try and meet a grown man on Tinder at her age. My dad hyped onto that and lectured her online and meeting a strange man on the internet and being so willing to go back to a stranger's place. And we were a bit loud so people were so people were starting to stare at us. Um and my sister eventually burst into tears and ran out. Okay y'all let's just talk about that little part. It's not done but like oh my god. First of all I'm the sister is completely wrong but at the same time, like, y'all did all oh, that. Mm -mm. You, you should have just ended it before she went on a date. Like, that is just too much. And I don't know. Like, it's just too much. Like, what is he doing all that for? I'm sorry, y'all. Let's keep on reading. Um, I told my friends in a group chat the situation, and they all agreed it was a scare hysterical. Except of my two female friends who said I was a effing d word and cruel to her dang that's a cruel is a big word it's a hard little word 
So, with the female friends agree with me that I think it was kind of like the sister is in the wrong, the dad is in the wrong, but most definitely the brother is in the wrong. But it's really just a sister and a brother. Like, obviously, the brother, he should never do that. He should just end it at the house. He should just be like, I'm Jim, get off of Tinder. But he like a snitch. Like, he telling the parents and they going to meet up. Like, what the heck? Anyway. Um, she, he goes on to say, my other friend is defending me and said she needed to be taught. She needs, she needed to be teach. She needed, to be, she needed to be teach a lesson, wondering who's right and if I went too far. And he's wondering if he's right and did I go too far? Alexa, I didn't speak. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry. She just be kind of going a little crazy. Anyway, though. Like, I don't know. That's just weird. Like, I think I agree with the uh, vote. Like, everybody voted him the bad person. Y'all, this phone is kind of blurry, so don't mind. Yeah, this phone never focuses, but it says the A word. So, yeah, he is in the wrong. And I agree with that. I think he just took it too far. He should have just ended it. He should just, like, sit at the house. I'm Jim. Get off of, t get off of um Tinder. And I'm going to tell everybody. But she crazy. The sister is crazy. She gonna go to gym, and she got and she got and he said his age at twenty two. So that means and she nineteen. Mm mm. That is crazy, y'all. I don't know what to say to that. Okay, y'all. Let's read the edit. Like this is what he had to say after he saw that people were calling him the A word on Reddit. He said, "Edit. Yes. When I asked if she wants to go to my place after, it was heavily implied that she would have had sex with Jim. That's why I went." That's why I went the intent that I did. I don't know. I feel like still, if you went that intent that you did, then you should just went that intent at home. Like, you really brought it that far. But at the same time, she need to like, get, take the phone with some. Ooh. And then he goes on to say, I, all right, after reading all these judgments, I came to the conclusion that I'm a TA, but I'm a TA. She, that I'm a TA, but I'm a TA she needed, if anything, she, she knows to not be a complete woman when finding people to hook up with on Tinder. Sorry, y'all. And to the people who said she'll never speak to me again, we finished playing <laughs> Feel for the last hour. It's like a game or something like that. But, I don't know, y'all. That's a little crazy. I don't, he should not do all that. Like, he should just kind of end it somewhere else. But I do agree that he is the bad person, but. To an extent, like, they both was wrong. But I think the brother was more wrong, in my opinion. But, I mean, they cool, so... I don't know. Let's read some of the comments. Um... Um... Oh, also, T-A means the A word. Like, he knows, like, he... like he, like, what, what he mean by that? He says, in the conclusion that I'm a... I'm, I am the butt word. But yeah. So that is crazy. Um, one of the comments says, I'm trying to like, the comments are kind of confusing already because like they're all kind of like stitched to each other. Like, I don't really know what to read. I'm just going to go with this one. It says, invading her privacy, lying to her, and, humili and humiliating her is going to make her less likely to open up to the family about her life and make it harder for you and your parents to support her. At 17, it, at 17, it's unlikely. She's really going to learn anything. It is she, She's not really going to learn anything from embarrassments nor punishments from parents. She's either going to have to learn things the hard or she's going to have to learn them by maturing. And then they went on to say, like, you're right because... Oh, somebody said, good job, oh... OP. OP is like the person who wrote this stuff. Um, I don't know. I think they on the brother side with that comment, y'all. I don't know. Reddit really kind of confusing. Um, okay, this one. Okay, this is a simple one. It says, I mean, she was going to meet him at a restaurant in a public site first. Who said she's going to really have gone? Who said she really have gone to his house? And then, um, somebody replied to that comment. And said she told our parents she was. Oh, the OP said she told our parents she's going to hang out with her and her trap friends and spend night at her house. She laid the groundwork for it. Oh, that is true though, cause like overnight. So yeah. 
But y'all, this is the end of this little um vlogmas. It's a simple little vlogmas. I did this all in one sitting. Um, this one was crazy though. If y'all like these, make sure y'all comment down below. Um, if you, if you do not like my opinion, my mm, overall, I do think he is the butthole. But I think um, who was wrong? I think the sister was wrong because she is underage and it's too dangerous. Even if she is underage, like one year, she's still a minor. The brother, he just did too much. Like, you could have ended that at the house. You could have ended that at the house. Um, and then that's just embarrassing overall. Like, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog, y'all. Oh, I'm not even going to read that comment. Anyways, y'all let me make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for Vlogmas Day 7. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, which is Friday. Probably might wash clothes. <laughs> I don't even know. But, yeah, if we do, we're going to go to the store after. So, I might vlog in the store or do, like, a haul. But, y'all, oh, no, I think I know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a, um, if y'all see me in these clothes again tomorrow, it's probably because I recorded another video in tonight. Because I don't, I don't think, I'm not going to feel like recording tomorrow because I'm, like, really so tired today. But, um, I know I'm going to be tired tomorrow. I don't know why I'm going to be tired tomorrow. I'm just, like kind of feeling like I'm gonna be tired because I got up at 8 a.m. today y'all but I literally had to set like 20 alarms to get up and not too much on my hair at all I gotta find something to do with it but I'm probably gonna um it's conditioned I watched it when I got in the shop because y'all I found the freaking shampoo let me start talking see y'all later on vlogmas I'm gonna like I'm recording another video and stay tuned for what that video is gonna be bye